Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's begin Capricorn. I say that you're doing a little investigating. I see that you're not really getting anywhere with whatever it is you're trying to find out. And what you are trying to find out is the whereabouts of somebody close to you. As of uh, there was a, there's a certain kind of relationship bet between the two of you. Some sort of attachment to this person. Pisces is relevant. I think that it's really important that you don't lose yourself over any of this. It's, it's beginning to feel as though you're not getting anywhere and you never will. That type of energy, that type of feeling. That's what's going on in your mind. But you are persistent and you are fairly certain within yourself that this is going to come out just the way you want it to. This week for you is, is going to be about taking a lot of risks, really pushing things to the limit. Any situation that you're dealing with head on, you are actually going ahead and doing something that you normally wouldn't do. And you could be wanting validation from even from your actions, even in, if those actions do not seem justifiable enough. Say, for example, if you want something really bad or if you want to reconnect with someone We'll use that example. You know, you really want to reconnect with someone that you haven't seen in a long time. They don't want to reconnect with you. You go out of your way to show up on their doorstep because you want answers, because you want to talk to them and you want to fix things. They don't see the same thing as what you do or how you do and they're completely ignoring you. And they're not interested. Just flat out, no thanks. This is clearly not what you wanted to happen. You wanted everything to work out. And the fact that you've gone out of your way to do something like that, those actions are justified to you. Now, by showing that person that you have no boundaries, this is where it could pose a problem. This is what you want to avoid, okay? Because the last thing you want to do is show up on someone's doorstep, for example. And obviously, if you're unwelcome, you don't want something to get out of hand, if you know what I mean. So this is just an example, but this is your word of warning for the week. So just don't try to take those kinds of risks, any risks that, any any risks really, because at the end of the day, not everybody is going to feel the same way about certain life decisions, so on and so forth. And that's just the way it is, okay? Crossing lines, seeing that there are no boundaries, portraying, being portrayed as a person that has no boundaries, avoid this at all costs. Now we'll talk about your money. Uh, financially, things are easing up. Everything's flowing for finally. And I am seeing a little, the word comes up as poverty, but don't take that uh, as though it, it is literally you living on the streets or something of that nature. I, I think that you just really need to be Careful that you don't take any risks with your money either because it could see you needing to borrow money and not being able to pay it back. I think this is what you're afraid of. I think you I think that you could be at your worst. This could be make or break. You know, your brain is sort of telling you that, oh my God, and I'm in panic mode. And what if I end up with nothing? So there is that. There's that doubt that's crossing your mind. Best not to think that way. Just keep focusing on what you need to do to keep making everything work because that will work for you. It's, it's your way of moving forward to continue on your journey with a positive attitude and you need to stop being so hard on yourself. You need to try to focus more on how you have improved and how you can improve and keep at it and don't stop. The key is to not stop. Rather thinking about how we can go wrong. It's very simple. It's a very simple way for you. So very simple. Uh, it's a very simple process this week for you in terms of your finances. If you think negative thoughts, you become that. If you think logic and practicality, then you become that. So just be sensible with your money and you will be fine. Thank you, Capricorn.